coast to coast, on and a border. Regardless of what anybody thinks I'm saying, I'm saying border to border. Uh, iHeartRadio. You can also get a hold of the sideline over there at J-I-G-G-Y-G, the G-O-A-R.com. Thanks for tuning in to the big broadcast. We are live as live can get to Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific, and 1 p.m. Standard. Each and every day over there at JiggyJaguar.com. On-demand archive audio available via iHeartRadio and talk to live video because we're twitching on the Twitch today. 50 plus AM FM stations across the Virgin Plain, as the great Rush Limbaugh would say. And we are live as live can get on BitChute, Rumble, the YouTube, and of course, Cloud Hub, which by the way, Cloud Hub just recently went through a redesign. I just noticed that today. And we have got the fantastic Todd Callender with us today. He joins us live as live can get. He is busier than a fruit merchant today as he joins us live here on the telephone. Todd, welcome back to the big broadcast. How are you, my man? Fantastic. You know, it's always a joy to be with you. Uh, it's, your enthusiasm abounds. It's contagious. <laughs> That's awesome. I think that's great. Uh, so, Todd, uh, one of the things that I wanted to to, to get you back on uh, the last time we we pretty much talked about Clout Hub the entire freaking time. However, this time I want to talk about uh, your alternative to Zoom, which is amazing, and I am so glad that you have put this together. Uh, talk to us a little bit about this and how people can download it and all the various things. Yeah, thank you for that. Cloud Hub Meets. Uh, it's a video conferencing soft platform. It's browser-based. We have the ultimate in security, how and why, because um, it's anonymous. We think that anonymity plus privacy equals freedom, so we designed this, frankly, with a bunch of um, Chinese Christians in mind who get used for body parts if they are caught attending Bible study. So we built this uh, video conferencing thing where you keep control of your data. If you want to keep a copy of the meeting, you can do that. Um, otherwise, it, it, it never happened. And so this is about empowering people to be in charge of their data, which is opposite of, opposite of Zoom. Right? Zoom and the rest of them are always stealing your data, and they're selling it. They get 150 bucks per sale if they can produce a, a residential address and a social security number. So your, your data is getting sold over and over again, and, and Zoom keeps it all for themselves. So why did you decide to develop this software? Yeah, well, that was a little bit of a different mission. So I, my day job, I run an insurance group. It's global. I wanted to talk to my clients around the world. And so I invested in Cloud Hub on the basis that the, the then um, CEO would make us an instant translation video conferencing system. Um, and unfortunately, he died before that happened. But that was my first order of business when I took over the company. We built it. It, it exists. It's uh, instant translation, 72 languages, all at the same time in a video conferencing setting. Um, we have that as a, as a standalone service and then the regular video conferencing uh, that, that everybody else would use as a replacement to Zoom. And at Cloud Hub generally, we've uh, integrated language such that you can, um, you can have 60 different languages subtitled or actually operate the, the platform that way itself. So what we're trying to do is bring 6 billion non-English speakers to our platform and make it available for other people to interact with and in fact, eliminate the gatekeepers of truth. That's, that's the mission. That's fantastic. We have got a great guest with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast. Todd Callender is with us. So go not, not giving away too much of the, you know, behind the scenes and all that shenanigans. How do you go yeah. about developing something like this? Wow, boy, it was a really hard learning curve for me. So if you could imagine this, last April I'd never had a social media account before. Um, and so I was really forced into this um, when, when Jeff Brain died. Good guy. Unfortunately, he suffered a stroke, and, and it was sink or swim for me. And so I learned um, the world of developers, and there are software developers around uh, the world, and um, Jeff, thank God, knew some, and we acquired some along the way. But, you know, it's really a, a, a cool process. You just have to have a lot of money to develop something like this. Um, Post-acquisition, we've spent about $2 million making this happen. That's awesome. We have got Todd Callender with us today. He joins us live here on our big program. And uh, developing something like this, uh, I'm sure that you've gotten some interesting feedback from folks. What has that been like? Yeah, you know, we really have. I guess the best part about it 
is getting the feedback from people in another country. When we are using the instant translation software, and for the first time, they're able to communicate in literally any language. It's this, this cool discovery that they could contact somebody in Ukraine. They might be a Spanish speaker, Ukrainians using you know, Ukrainian language, and they can communicate directly. And that was really the mission. So the feedback is, is kind of overwhelming. that People can't believe it's real, but it is real. We're actually doing that. Um, and we're opening the world for people you know, to, to explore themselves. They don't need an intermediary. They don't need a TV station or, or somebody that's going to bend the truth. They can get the information themselves. So it's, it's quite wondrous. People have a hard time believing it's, it's real. That's awesome. We have got a fantastic guest with us today. Todd Callender is with us. He is joining us live via the telephone to discuss this incredible, incredible piece of business. So this uh, th this conferencing software, how easy is this to operate? Because I know that there yeah. are a lot of people. In fact, my fill-in host, Roger Homefield, uh, when when I was trying to explain to him the process of getting on Skype uh, and and doing a show <laughs> via Skype, we were having to walk through all sorts of different oh, things. No. So what is the 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 process? Of learning this software and using this software, if somebody wanted to wanted to Good. jump in and do it. Well, you know, let me remind you: up till April of last year, I never had a social media account. I'm in my mid fifties, so we I'm a fossil. I'm a technological fossil, and we built it for technological fossils to make it as easy as possible. It's literally one click. So you you would open up your your meeting. You can invite the attendees, and it takes one click for them to, to come in. And the rest of it is very intuitive. There are tools right in front of you um, if you want to change things around. But the, the basic meeting platform is one click away. We've made it completely idiot-proof um, for me because I'm the technological idiot. We have got uh, Todd Callender with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast. One of the things that I absolutely hate about Zoom, well, besides that it's a Chinese product, uh, also, also, uh, it is it is technologically not feasible for me to use it when we're doing the uh, the 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 radio and the video part of this show. But their app, I have uh, a friend of mine who's in the, uh, the the PR industry, and he always wants to have Zoom meetings. And I never yeah. can get the goddamn software on my uh, on the phone to oh. actually work. Wow! Talk to us a little bit about using this with an iPhone. How, how does how does sure. how does this work, my man? Well, that's a great question and a great observation because you don't need to download software for this. It's browser based. All you have to do is click. That's it, and you go there. So if you've got access to a browser, you can use any browser you, you want. If you've got an iPhone, Safari, for example, and you click on it, and, and it works. There's no downloading. In fact, we don't want to cause people that problem. right? You, you have to always update apps. So what we've done is eliminate that problem. You just have access to your account um, on our website. It looks and acts like an app, but it isn't one. And, and that's part of the reason why... Um, we made it so that people can't steal your data, steal your information, right? That's what apps do. Everybody thinks that Sonic or all these other ones, these apps are promising secrecy and encryption. Yeah, you know, they're stealing your data and they're selling it. We have yeah. no interest. What we want to do is empower people, and we do that through anonymity and freedom. I think that is amazing. We have got a great guest with us today. Todd Callender is with us. He joins us live as live can get on the telephone, talking a little bit about this incredible software that he has developed here. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the testing process. Once once you guys got this thing together and you're like, hey, I think we're going to be able to do this. We're going to be able to make this work. What the hell was the uh -huh. testing like? <laughs> <laughs> it was painful. <laughs> Obviously, it's a loaded question. You know the answer to that. We launched it in August of last year, um, and there's always perfections. And what I've come to find in this business is that you never end the the perfection process. So you just build it, uh, you launch it, and you keep refining it, and, and we get some user feedback along the way. And next thing you know, you're adding buttons and all kinds of other features. But the, um, the you know it, the beta process, the beta testing was actually really fun. 
we got to entertain a lot of people from different places uh, to come in, and we made a lot of friends around the world in the process of doing it. So it's a collaborative effort, right? It's not hostile. And frankly, it, people can use this for 30 minutes free, unlimited. So they don't even have to pay us to try this out. Um, and, and that was really the function of the beta test that you talk about, is getting the feedback, how do we make people happy? And this is it. It's, it's a no-risk proposition for most people. They just show up. They don't have to download anything. They can use it. And, um, and if they like it, then, then do me a favor and buy a subscription. Support what it is we're doing. And it's cheap. Anyway, it's 15 bucks a month, unlimited usage. You'd have a hard time finding a better deal. Okay, one of the things that I, I talk to radio people all the time, and they're supposedly they're using this this they're using Zoom because it can rec and I, I I don't much know or care about this aspect, but I know there are a lot of radio people that they use it because it will record like if you and me and yeah. let's say two other people are on the on a on a call and we're doing an interview or whatever it can record i guess multi track or some kind of nonsense um, <laughs> can people use your software to do something that it was not developed for yeah well, <laughs> that's no, essentially that, 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 what no, i'm asking it, brother <laughs> No, 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 it really can't. But we did develop it really for board meetings. This was kind of the point of having meetings across the sea with you know, people of different languages, is we have a transcript feature that will actually take a transcript of everything said in every language and it prints it out at the end. We use it for board meetings all the time. Um, but, but more importantly, the, the video content of the meeting itself can only be recorded by attendees. So somebody has the ability to download it onto their computer, and if they don't do that or they don't record a transcript, then the meeting never happened. When they hang up, that's it. It never happened. So we've eliminated the possibility of third parties, bad guys, stealing the data. And frankly, we did that with lawyers and doctors in mind. HIPAA and um, attorney-client privilege materials can't go through Zoom. Because you have an obligation as a lawyer, I happen to be one, to keep the confidences of your client. If you know somebody's stealing the data and they're claiming ownership over that meeting, then you have violated your ethical principles. So we've eliminated that problem for doctors and hospitals and lawyers, uh, amongst others. To keep Your secrets are your secrets. And, and how do you do that? Your secrets are your secrets. You do, I love that shit. <laughs> well, they are, right? That's the whole point. People, look, people want anonymity. They want privacy. It's yes. like cash. Right? Why do we want Yikes. cash? Because it's anonymous, it's portable, and it's valued. we got the same thing going on here. That's awesome. Well, you are amazing. Uh, we have got Todd Callender with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast, talking a little bit about this incredible, incredible alternative to Zoom that he has created here. Uh, so besides the app and besides the... Uh, the the desktop features. Take us through some of the different things that you guys have that Zoom does not, and why you guys are a little bit better than uh, than, than than the Chinese guys. <laughs> well, number one, we're less expensive. Number two, browser based. Number three, there's no app to download or to control. Have other people's control it. Um, but it, you know, we have every button that Zoom has. I I don't use them. I use the one-click thing, and now I have a meeting, and I do my meeting, and then I'm done. But it's not cluttered with all of those buttons. They do exist, and people can play with them if they're really into it. But all of the commands, all of those things are pretty standard now in the industry. It's very intuitive. Um, so I guess that would be our, our best-selling point. Is it's, you know, aside from being an anonymous, aside from being easy, free for 30 minutes, it's, um, it's got all the buttons for those crazy people that want to press them. <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's got really all the crazy straightforward. buttons for the people who want to press them. That is awesome. So we have Todd Callender join us today. He is amazing, and uh, he has this incredible, incredible software here that he has uh, developed and uh, has tested with all sorts of different folks. And um, talk to us about the uh, any negative feedback do you get uh, on this? Yeah, of course you do on, on occasion. You know, when you go to market with something like that, it's it's easy to get the negative feedback. It's really just a function of frustration, I think, and and that was really one of the reasons why we gravitated towards the one button rule. 
Um, we came to find in the industry that if, if people um, have to press more than one button, you lose half of the attendees. So we That's wanted right. to make sure that everybody had a, a good use of it, so we've limited it really to, to showing up. You press one button, you, you, you um, sign up with your name if you're invited to a, a meeting. You can use any name you want, and, and that's it. It's make it ultra easy, and that was really, uh, I think, a function of people saying, you know, we, we want this to be intuitive. We don't want to waste a bunch of time. We don't want to download a user's manual, so we really made it idiot-proof. I'm glad to know that you, are, that, that you followed the... the um as uh, as as everybody loves the the, the, the Jeff Jarrett principle, the, the the former NWA World's Champions idea, um, on if you confuse them, you lose them. So yeah, I'm so right. glad that you <laughs> you have the uh, you, you you've made this the the the, the way that it is. Uh, we have got Todd Calendar with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast, and uh, you're joining us this week here on Build, Grow, and Enjoy the BGE Radio Network out of Atlanta, GA, and of course BuildGrowAndEnjoy.com as well as uh, on JiggyJaguar.com. So, Todd, let's talk a little bit about. Uh, your other venture, Clout Hub, uh, you guys recently went through a little bit of a redesign and uh, a little yeah. bit of a uh, spoofing up over there. Uh, <laughs> talk to us a little bit about uh, this redesign and everything. Yeah, thank you for this. really kind of funny. I, I hope your viewers or listeners will think this is funny as I do. But one of our advisors, one of the team in, in looking to redo the, the look of Cloud Hub said, you know, we got to get rid of this orange. It's the same orange as Pornhub. We don't want to be known. That is Pornhub. awesome. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, I know a lot of people that are on Pornhub, and I have a uh, – I have a uh, an interview channel where we interview porn stars and we put it on uh, we put it on porn. I've seen they're, it. They're they're somewhat yeah. successful, so you know maybe the sure, orange of works. They are. But uh, let, let's let Pornhub can do the orange and, and we'll do a different color. It's so fine. so no why did you decide here. to settle on the color that you have? <laughs> Well, you know, I actually live in the Caribbean. That's where my home is, and that color it was inspired by the Bahamian blue waters. And, and so we thought it was bright and cheery. Um, and so so far, people really appreciate it. Rather than being dour or, or porn of orange, people are that's looking awesome. at this pretty blue color. And so it's a lot more grown up, and frankly, that's our demographic, really. You know, most people that come to Cloud Hub are, you know, in their 30s or, or a little bit older, um, and they expect us to do, you know, professional things, and that's what we're working for. You know, it's the never-ending process, right? We're always improving, trying to meet customer demand. And by the way, it's coming in a big way because, you know, we're really the god guns in country channel. You can add god guns golden country um, channel if you want. The, the people are coming to our website for those things because we don't censor. We want everybody's ideas. We don't do porn. We don't do gambling. But it's the marketplace of ideas. It's unfettered, unbridled speech, and uh, and that's why people come to share what is. In fact, I've seen your interviews of porn stars on Cloud Up. I think they're <laughs> wonderful. I mean, these are people too, man. I, I one of the things I love about Clout Hub, and I had I I talked about this the last time we had you on, is that I get like views like nobody's business over there on clout hub and i don't think i have a video that's under like a hundred views <laughs> on on yeah. clout hub um i know that like with youtube they have this they have this algorithm and for you know no matter what anybody says rumble's got the same damn thing um <laughs> I I, yeah, I know I know Rumble right. is supposed to be you know First Amendment freedom of speech all that jazz, but realistically that they they they've got, no, well, they, they've got an algorithm to too a, maybe. Uh, well, they, they do. And let, let me let me throw out there BlackRock. Yes. You know the the big investor that owns the world just took an equity position in Rumble, so they're going to have. Um, oh, oh, I did not know that content. either. That's amazing. Yeah, man. So we're you know look we're about freedom. We're about freedom and, and, and the American way, but we're trying to help the rest of the world find the very same thing, that we take back power over our own lives. Don't trust other people to make your decisions. We're about empowerment. How do you do that? By getting people the truth, the reality of the situation so they can make informed decisions. And how do we do that? Guys like you, frankly, doing a good job of interviewing people. 
Um, and whether they're porn um, stars or not is immaterial. It's information we need to know. Yes. Um, and I, I just love it. I, I'm really into listening to other people's thoughts, even if I don't agree with them, because that's how you arrive at good decisions. The marketplace of ideas in our country was founded on that. So we're just trying to carry on that principle. And, and all are welcome. Um, we're very libertarian. What is what is funny uh, the other day is I interviewed a guy, um, which I I am fascinated by the fact that there that there there is somewhat another person like me out there, but uh, I interviewed a guy who is a progressive conservative, and Whoa. I'm just wow. I'm blown away by this, <laughs> and so yeah. I love the fact that you cater to all views over there on Clout yeah. Hub. Uh, Talk to us a little bit about some of the different things that you did with Clout Hub that you've done with the the the, the conferencing software. Kind of, uh, it was what was there some similarities between the two, or is it two completely different? Yeah, things? yeah, for sure. So if you if you go to your interview, funny enough, I'm looking at one right now, yes. um, and you you pull it up, you'll find at the at the bottom there is closed captioning. So people that's from, awesome. 60 different languages can watch what it is you're doing. We just need to do a better job, and it's my commitment to people to help promote this you know, outside of the United States because we really want to expand that reach. We're in the freedom business, uh, and that's, that's following on what it was we were talking about in terms of video conferencing. You know, we've, uh, we have 160,000 Brazilians on Cloud Hub. Why? Yes. Because they felt safe to come and organize and have conversations on our platform. They didn't trust Zoom. Um, and so we want to make sure that as you're having your interviews, you're, you're reaching new audiences. There's 6 billion non-English speakers. So we really want this to be the central platform, come one, come all, and, and let's have that global marketplace of ideas. But we'll leave the globalists out of it. You know, we're, we're very conservative <laughs> in, our, in our leanings, uh, but libertarian at the same time. That's awesome. We have got a great guest with us today. Uh, Todd Callender joins us. Uh, one, one more thing that I noticed about when you guys did the redesign on CloudHub is you're starting to have advertising. If, if somebody yeah. wants to advertise with you guys, how do, they, how do they go about getting a hold of you and making that happen? Yeah, it's really simple. Info at CloudHub.com. We've got a whole team of people, um, whether it's display ads or banners, interviews. Uh, it's all coming. And, and be on the lookout. We've got a lot of new sponsors coming on. Like I said, God, Guns, and Country had a talk with a, a gold guru today. He'll be coming on, uh, Dr. Kirk Elliott, as a matter of fact. And then we've got, um, believe it or not, um, gun stores, gun manufacturers, Survival Dispatch is one of our new relationships. We're really excited about it. They get like a couple hundred thousand views a day. Um, so the content is, is something that people are they're starving for it because you can't get it. If you mention an ivermectin or a gun in YouTube, you're gone. Yep. We'll come and talk about it. We like ivermectin. We like guns. We like knives. We, like, <laughs> we, like I, ivermectin. we especially like women that have guns. That's you know, especially encouraged. Chicks awesome. with guns. Chicks with guns. That's right. Uh, so before we let you go, if people want to get involved with the uh, the conferencing software, how do they do that? Great. It, it's really simple. It's meetings.clouthub, or you can go to clouthub.meets. Either way, it'll direct you right there. Or if you want to go to the, the website, clouthub.com, it's really simple. You'll see that there's um, different links on the, on the main page you come in. And if you click on the meetings one, it'll take you straight to the software. Like I said, you're welcome to use it 30 minutes free, unlimited. Uh, but we think that you're going to like it so much you'll, you'll pay us the 15 bucks a month to use it. That's awesome. One more question before I let you go. And this, the, 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 this, is, this is something that I'm sure once you explain this to me, I'll realize, oh, I should have known this the entire time. But on Clout Hub, I noticed that they have the, they, they have the My Channel situation, which is where all the videos are. And then there's this user section, I guess, that allows you to look at your friends and your followers and your following and all these various things. Sure. What the hell is the difference? Is is one supposed to be like a <laughs> like a social media kind of deal, and the yeah. other is like a a video storage portion, or all of those things? Well, it's the, it's the community section that you're talking about, and really, yes. this is live chat. 
So um, that's another upgrade we're making right now that you can actually post a video from anywhere. We don't care if it's Rumble or YouTube or whatever. You can post yeah. a video and have a conversation about it with other Cloud Hub users. You can invite them in. Um, and by the way, it'll be scrolling. Uh, I think it's early, early next week, so that uh, it'll scroll on the side while you're watching the video. Again, you can watch it in, in any language, um, and it's really designed to to build the um, the integration, not the integration, the the intimacy. That's what I'm looking for. The intimacy of our users, and you can invite pals, you can direct message. Um, you can even send your stuff off to, to third parties, and they'll be able to access it. They don't have to become members. If you if you have a Cloud Hub video you uploaded um, or that you like, you can share it with others. You can post it in the community section and invite people to come and have a chat about it. That's awesome. Well, you are amazing. Thanks for making some time for us, and uh, I always oh, enjoy our chats. Mine. And uh, before we let you go, how do people get the uh, get the software? That's it. Go to clouthub.com. It's really that simple. Um, you can sign up. It, it's free. The, the platform itself is free. Sign up. All we need is a username, preferred language, and uh, an email address. Other than that, we're not keeping any data. We don't want it. Um, and then again, you can press the meetings tab. It'll take you right there or go into the community. It's free. It's fun. Bring everybody with you. I think you're going to enjoy the content. And I, look, I really appreciate you, by the way. Thank you for bringing us the content. It's really fun to watch. I hope people will come and join me. Well, you are amazing. Thanks for providing an amazing, amazing piece of business for, for people to uh, post videos. Oh, and, and I'll tell that. you, you guys make it so easy because I'll tell you, when I go over there, especially on Rumble, I got I got all these boxes. I got all this stuff. I gotta I gotta find, figure out which account. I gotta do all the <laughs> keywords. I got all the nonsense. And at the end of the day, I One upload button. and the thing gets three views. And you make it so easy to where I can upload. And within like an hour, I got like 258 views on some random video. So uh, thank you. Fabulous. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. That kind of feedback is always welcome. Well, you are fantastic. Have yourself a wonderful day, my friend. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you, Always Todd. a pleasure. Appreciate it. There he goes. The fantastic Todd Callender with us today, and he joins us live here on our big, 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 big broadcast. We're going to take a brief time out. When we come back, we have got more coming up. It is the Old World Voice. Chicken Chicken Radio Broadcast. Thank you. Love it. 